the time has come to talk about scoping. And uh, I say that somewhat sarcastically and humorously because uh, scoping is a topic that causes or it seems to cause a lot of confusion. I know I was definitely confused about it when I was first learning about Dagger. Um, just a lot of confusion around the, the topic of scoping, custom scopes, how to use scopes, when to use scopes. Uh, if you browse Stack Overflow posts, there's uh, there's a lot of questions about scoping. Usually something like, how does scoping work? Should I use scoping here? Should I use scoping there? Um, just in general, a lot of confusion around scoping. And if you talk to somebody who's a beginner-ish at Dagger and you ask them what they know about scoping, they might just sort of say something like, oh, you just create singletons. Uh, you provide instances and you mark them as singleton and then they exist as long as the application is alive. Basically forever, everything's a singleton. And while you could do that, it's not necessarily a good idea to do that. If you marked every object in your application as a singleton, um, you can imagine that if your application got quite big, you'd have you'd have a lot of overhead. You'd have all of these objects just kind of laying around in memory and they would never go anywhere, basically. So scoping is is the is the solution to that problem. The solution to the problem of uh, having objects sitting around in memory, singleton objects, instances, instance objects, sitting around in memory that don't necessarily need to be sitting around in memory all the time. Think of it like this. I, I came up with this, this great analogy. It's like when you, uh, so what you can do is the singleton annotation is one scope, for example, but you can create any number of scopes You and you can create scopes to exist only within certain components or certain parts of the app. So basically, here's my analogy. It's basically like telling an object, hey object, you are going to exist, but you're only going to exist as long as um, you know this activity or this component exists. Once this component or this activity dies, you die. So that's that's kind of the, that's the that's going to be the power of custom scoping. You can build these custom scopes and tell objects to basically become instances, but only become instances for a finite uh, under finite conditions, basically. So it uh, helps you kind of um, can't think of the word helps you kind of keep your resources, I guess, packaged and compartmentalized um, where they need to be. And then when they're not needed, the Android system can get rid of them. So that's, uh, that's, that's scoping in a nutshell at a high level. Um, now, now, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start talking about the singleton annotation, which, like I said, is probably the most common scope that people know about. And uh, that's used for scoping something to exist as long as the application does. So as long as the application exists, that object will exist. I actually forgot to mention something. I had this diagram open on the screen for a reason. So you can see like from our, our diagram here, from our architecture, from our dagger architecture, I guess you'll call it, um, the, the app component is marked as a singleton. And that's what we're going to do in the application. So all of the modules, the, the, um, the objects, all of the dependencies in the app component will be marked as singleton, uh, as opposed to the auth component. If you take a look down here, that's going to be scoped to an auth scope. Uh, that's a custom scope. Don't worry if you don't know what that is, how to make them yet. We're going to look at that. Just notice that they're different. You have a singleton scope, you have an auth scope, and you have a main scope in the main component. So three different scopes for three different components. Just notice that they are different. Now let's look at the code. 